Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Johnny Fisher here in Leeds, cold Leeds as well. Yes. <laughs> How much have you enjoyed tonight? Hello, Josh. Yeah, I've enjoyed it very much. So it's been, it's been brilliant. The undercard as well, not just the main event, which obviously was a bit disappointing the way it ended, but it was just catching fire, which is frustrating to watch. But just the atmosphere, everyone in here, the Leeds fans, it's been an unbelievable experience to be just a part of it and experience that. So I'm very grateful. Lots of your young career has been sort of behind closed doors yeah. and you've not had the fans. How important is, are these occasions, even for yourself, to, to yeah. sort of see what the atmosphere yeah, is to like? Yeah, to gauge what it's like. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I've, I went and watched Joe Joyce a few weeks ago in July when he fought Carlos Takam. Um, that was good to get experience of doing that. But my next fight hopefully will be in front of a, of a, thousand, a few thousand people in, a, in, a, in an arena. So I'm looking forward to doing that. We know how much of a big ticket seller you could be. I mean, you've already said that people down from Exeter and of course yeah. in Romford as well. There's a big, a big chance to have plenty rolling you on next time around. That's the thing. I've, I've been getting messages now because I've been saying I'm fighting soon. Like I've got a, a fight date coming up to be announced soon. So I've got my friends from Exeter, my friends from rugby, my friends from football, my, my brother's mates, my dad's mates, my mum's like loads and loads of people. And it's great to have the support it's, and it's genuine support. People are really getting behind me. So I owe them my best in terms of training hard and giving it my best performance when I do fight. So I'm really grateful for the support I do get. And how much of a difference do you think that could make in the ring? We've seen them, we've seen some good stuff from you in your in your opening three fights, but that could make a, a yeah. real one or two. Percent, oh yeah, it could it? definitely make a, it. Could make a difference. It, it's another experience, another learning curve. I've got to get over fighting in front of thousands of people, exactly. not letting the crowd affect your, your train of thought. And listen, it probably benefited me first the two fights being behind closed doors because that environment of just focusing purely on the fight. There's no other distractions. And I thought a fight camp in front of a few hundred dealt with that, and now it'd be a few thousand. So it's a good little. It's worked out nicely in a way. Can it often be sort of trying to take the emotion out of it all? Because yeah. you saw just tonight, and you've seen lots of fires. They're going first round, steaming yeah. in, and you yeah. don't know how they're going to get on. Tonight. You shouldn't be an, an emotional fighter. Is not the fighter that usually wins. You can't let your emotions get in the way, and that's something I've learned. Because I'm I'm quite uh, emotional. I'm aggressive. That's the way I am. But I do my best boxing and sparring, and when I fight, when I'm relaxed, when I'm calm, and I don't let the emotions get in, in the way. You've got to control their instincts and use them in the correct way. You say you've got your fight coming up. I mean, are we looking Dillian Martin in the card? Is that where we're looking? That's where we're looking. Excellent, excellent. I mean, are you back in camp now, or you, have you been training straight all the way through? I had a couple of weeks off, spent a bit of time eating what I want, thinking about what I want, doing what I want, and went down to Cornwall for a little bit, relaxed down there. And it's just nice to mentally rest, not just physically rest. So that was the main thing. Now I'm back in camp. From Thursday, I was back in camp. I'm ready to go. Looking forward to it. And when you're eating what you want, what's the meal of choice? Chinese, Kung Pao prawns, following my dad's footsteps. A bit of uh, salt, and, salt and chili chicken. Anything like that. And a cheeky pancake roll. Here, be lovely. Love that, Joe. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. Thanks, Josh. Cheers, mate.